Hi, my name is Clarissa. I'm a medical assistant and today I will be talking about when and when not to complete a medical consent form. So a medical consent form is used by medical assistants and doctor offices and it's a medical consent to perform a produce a procedure or a treatment. And what's on the consent form is the patient information, so it'd be like the name the date of birth and this is what the consent form looks like so in order to in order for the consent form to be completed they must let the patient know what exact procedure will be done and it's up to the patient to decide whether or not they want to have the procedure done and if they agree that they will have the procedure done they'll need to sign it at the bottom so basically on this form the medical assistant is going to be going through everything about the procedure they're going to be letting the patient know every little information about it and what will be happening and also on the consent form it says i understand the procedure purpose for treating or diagnosing my condition so it's basically just the medical assistant informing the patient on everything that's being done and then it does have the signature and the date at the bottom so that we know that the patient does agree and sign the date so that we know when we can go back to it. So when a consent form is not complete is when the patient decides that they do not want to go through with the procedure so they decide not to sign it, <clears throat> which is fine. But that makes the consent form incomplete. So that would be an incomplete consent form.